Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everyone at Chris Perillo's awesome YouTube and Ustream channel. I'm Dan Obrasovsky, the host and producer of the podcast Apple Universe. In this video, for um, Chris Perillo on his YouTube channel, I am actually going to talk about the top five things that new Mac users need to know. So, starting off with number one. There is no menu bar. So I'm going to hop around over to my PowerBook G4 running Mac OS X Leopard. And I'm going to show you what the menu bar actually is. You can see we have the docking station right here. We have the actual desktop. And then at the very top, we have this white bar at the top. Now this is called the menu bar. Now in this menu bar, you have your Apple, your Finder, your File, Edit, View, Go, Window, Help. And then on mine, I have Synergy, iChat, Display, Spaces, my wireless network, Volume, battery power, the date, and search. Now, as you can probably see, in Windows, there is quite different than actual Mac OS uh, X. Instead of having the applications on the menu bar, the applications are in something called the dock. So I'm actually going to move my Mac over so you guys can see. Now, the dock is quite simple. I have my dock on magnification right now so you guys can see it. Now, this is the dock. The dock is where you hold your applications. Currently, I have no applications running. Now, right now, you have your finder that is always running, your dashboard, which is kind of like you know, all your fun stuff. You can see I have my dashboard with clocks and widgets and all of these kind of things. Then I have my system preferences. I have Quicksilver, my Apple Universe stack, my application stack, which is quite neat downloads in the trash. Now, you can see, let's say I want to open up a program and it's not on here. So let's go to my application stack and let's say I wanted to open up, let's say, um, let's do something not that big and open up Flickr, the Flickr uploader tool. As you can see, it's bouncing right now, right here. You probably can't see it, so let's zoom in on the camera so you guys can see what's actually going on. You can see right here, it is bouncing and bouncing and bouncing right here. And now, you can see it's open. So, let's click on it. And shortly it will come up. Right now I'm running a, a lot of things on the network, so it may be a little slow. So, we'll, we won't worry about this. So right here we have the Flickr uploader. You can see it now shows up in the dock. Now let's say I want to close it, so I'll close it. Apple, quit. Now it's closed and now it's removed from the docking station. Now that is my tip for the no menu bar. So let's actually zoom out again. All right, so here's my second tip. That's better applications. Now we all know that Macs and PCs come with their own applications, but in some ways one is better than the other. So let's say you want to open up Windows Movie Maker on the PC and iMovie on the Mac. You really need to, you know, get to know your applications. Applications can be different on one space and then different on this space. I have Windows running on this machine, which is a Windows XP and I have Leopard running on this machine. I rather prefer iMovie even though you know Windows Movie Maker runs faster on this because this is an older machine but it still is a better quality so you really need to know your applications. Third tip, the UI. As you can see this is the UI of Leopard. Leopard is very very beautiful you can see it's very very nice and sleek and quite designy with Windows, you know, you really need to get used to all these new features. So let's say you want to open up, let's say you're going to open up your system preferences. So I click on system preferences, you see it's bouncing probably, I don't know if you guys can see it's bouncing. Now, let's actually see if we can zoom in a little bit for the camera. into actual system preferences. 
Alright, so you can see we're in system preferences. You can see my mouse. Now, you can see up here that there's this red, yellow, and a green. Green isn't here right now because you can't really maximize it. But this is what you need to get used to, the UI. On Windows, you have a big X for close. On Mac, you have a little red circle with an X in it. For maximize, you have this green, which is not here right now, right here. So let's actually move this over so you guys can see. Now, the yellow is minimized. So you can see, I minimize, minimized it. Now, to open it back up, let's go here. And you can see it's now in the dock right over here. Right here it is. So let's actually go to it on the dock. Let's see if I can find it right there. System preferences. Click. And there we go. It opened back again. See, there, there are many similarities and differences in Mac OS X and in Windows. But you can see the bigger ones show. Now, number four, software updates. On the Mac, you have your software update application. On the Windows side, you have the Windows update on the browser. So let's show you on the Mac the software update. So we're going to zoom in on the camera again. You can see I have my handy dandy remote. Alright, so this is my Mac screen. I won't go any further than that for right now. So right here I have my Mac. Now let's close system preferences. If I can find that. Okay. Close system preferences. Now, right here is my menu bar. Right here. So I'm going to click on the big apple. So then you can see I have a drop down menu. Now, there is second to the bottom there's software update. So let's click on software update and you can see the icon is bouncing and software update opens. Now let's zoom in into software update. We can see what software update is really about. You can see it's checking for new updates right now. You can see it's going right here. And this is the way that you update your Mac with brand new software, with updates to security, and all of that fun stuff. So, my system is actually up to date, so we'll let this load and show us that there actually is no update. And when there is no update, you'll see what happens. So, let's zoom in a little more. Bring this down a little. Right there. You can see you're checking for new software. It says your software is up to date, so we click on quick. So let's actually zoom out back again. Alright, so that's the whole software update feature. Now, fourth and not least, uh, fifth is more stable and less viruses. Now, on my PC, I have a bunch of virus software that I use, and to tell you the truth, I don't really like viruses. On the Mac, it's already basically, it's been killed <laughs> without even knowing about it. That's the great thing about Mac OS X. It basically kills all your viruses for you. In Windows, I have a bunch of programs that I don't really need about all of this, but, you know, one from time to time, you're going to need to kill viruses, and that's why I have SpyBot, Search and Destroy, and Adaware, Personal. But on the Mac, there is no program, and it's basically clutter-free. So these are my top five things you need to know about Mac for new users. So actually, let's close my... Macintosh and let it sleep. This is a very nice feature that it does sleep and you can know that it's not working right now. You can't really hear the processor running. So now here's uh, one of the main reasons why I did this video. Not only to support the great Chris Perillo, but um, to help you know get the word out about this event that I'm doing. As you probably know, I'm the host and producer of the podcast Apple Universe. And Apple Universe is a podcast that covers Apple news, rumors, keynotes, and has some cool, cool interviews. So uh, Macworld is coming up January 14th through the 18th, 2008, at the Mascarpone Center, as PC would say, which is the Mas Moscone Center. And I'm actually doing a live recording. My 100th episode of Apple Universe will be recorded live at the Zeeum, which is about one block away from the Mascarpone Center slash Moscone Center. So, as you can see, you know, I really want to get the word out. So, if you do live in, um, or you're coming to Macworld 2008, please stop by. It's going to be at around 5 or 6 at um, January 15th, 
2008, there are going to be guests like Robert Scoble from the Scoble Show and Scobleizer.com, Jason Snell, editor uh, at Macworld. Also, there's going to be uh, Callie Lewis from Geek Reef TV, uh, maybe. Uh, I Justine is coming in um, from iJustine.tv, livecaster, and also Shuby, who's a friend of mine, and he's actually almost my, uh, he's, I'm almost his age. We're about three years apart. He needs a live caster, and he may, uh, may be joining us. So, if you're in town for Macworld, please come and check it out. It's going to be at the ZM. We're going to have a bunch of fun. We're going to have, you know, all these guests. We're going to have a microphone in the middle of the seat. So, if you have a question, you just come right up, and my, uh, myself or the panelists can uh, answer the question. So, it's still a work in planning, but if you're, you're there, there will be flyers around. You know, check your little bags that you'll get at the Macworld, and hopefully we'll see you there. So, Jan Rosofsky, who's a producer of the Apple Universe podcast, doing the top five things that you need to know about Mac for new users. We'll see you later.